Johnson's, so much more. Did you know that 85% of a baby's brain is developed by age three? And according to recent market research by Johnson's, while parents value moments like bath time as quality time with their little one, they underestimate the benefits it might have on a baby's brain development. Tara Glasgow is a vice president of research and development for Johnson's, and she's here to explain how experiences like bath and massage can help stimulate growth for our babies. And Hoda is with Corky Harvey. Oh, that's right. Corky's a registered nurse and lactation consultant with the pump station in Los Angeles. And we're going to get to Corky in just a couple of minutes and the cute babies. But first, let's go back to Kath. Parents know instinctively, don't we, that touch with our baby is so, so important. What have you found out more recently? Yeah, I think as parents, we've always known the importance of all these little moments and the power of our tender touch. But I think what we haven't known, which science is now teaching us, is the power of these moments to shape your baby's brain. Cognitive development, emotional development, these moments last a lifetime. And it's not just touch, it's the sense of smell, it's looking into your eyes, it's hearing your voice, your baby's favorite Stop thing it, to you're hear. you're making me miss my baby <laughs> so much. And bath time, uh, I've always loved the bath time, but, and it, but it can be stressful. Not every bath time is a good time. Yeah. So what do you say? Just just keep keep trudging through, and you're going to learn from something from it with the babies. Well, life's a joy ride, isn't it? And yeah. and for babies, wait till you too. get my age. <laughs> yeah. And I think what's important is to just take those opportunities that you can get, and even if it's not the perfect moment every time, every touch for your baby is perfect when it's from love and and ha making the most of those little moments. And you know, when I my kids were little. Uh, and when my mother and father were giving birth to uh, my family, you know, we didn't have the distractions yeah. that families have today. We didn't have a, 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 an iPhone that everybody's reaching for every second. All the all the stimulus going on around us. Uh, what can we do to balance that? Yeah, I think what we've learned is really interesting that parents are still treating bath time like a sanctuary. Technology, most parents are not choosing to bring it into the bathroom. It's the one time that they're not on their cell phone. Yeah. So it's a great opportunity to just be there with your baby, making eye contact, touching, and helping with their development. Well, yes, and you never want to leave a child alone in a bath exactly. anyway to get to. Okay, exactly. Tara, thank you so much. And we're going to go over to Hoda Woman. Hey, I'm here with Corky, and I'm so excited because I have Sana here with her 12-week-old little baby, Zane, and we're getting ready for bath time, right? Right. Okay, what are some important things to do pre-bath? Well, pre-bath to gather all your things together. So okay. I like to have a basket with all my necessities and some a baby soap and shampoo right. and clean clothes for afterwards and I have my washcloths here. Everything handy, mm -hmm. right? Right there. Now I think a lot of parents wonder about how warm should the water be? If it feels warm enough to you, is that it right is. for the baby? You don't want it hot, nice and warm. It's about 100 degrees, but I don't think you have to buy a special thermometer. Okay. It's nice and warm to your hands. Okay, now unless there's a big diaper explosion or something like that, <laughs> how often does a baby need to have yeah. a bath? Well, at, at least a couple times a week. Um, I actually loved bathing my babies almost every day because I loved how they smelled when they were clean and how their hair was all fluffy and yummy. Okay. Uh, they're so delicious. But there are three areas that I think you need to bathe pretty okay. often. So obviously diaper. Yeah. Neck, because they really don't have one. Okay. So you've got to get in there and clean those little folds. Yes. And then their hair. Is he going to really go greasy. in though? He's going He's now. going in? Okay, so I'm so excited. He's going to have Zane's his modesty going in. diaper Zane likes on. it. Hey, so I'm going to show Come Zana. here, Zane. They get nervous if you don't if they don't feel secure. So I'm going to put my hand all the way across and onto okay? his yep. arm. Zana, how's it going? Keep him close hi, to me. Hi, hi, and I'm going to talk to Zane the whole oh, time. Hi. Zane, here's the water, buddy. Hi. Hello, Talk to me a little bit. And I use my own hand. I can use my the washcloth The touch is so here. important, isn't it? <gasps> Buddy, look yeah. at that. So as much as I'm talking to you, I would be talking oh. to him. Okay. And I take my hand and put a little soap on it. Right. I could start first with his eyes okay. and no soap. Okay. Oh. And his face. We're gonna as but you're as you're bathing massage. him, the Stop. most beautiful baby. We have another beautiful baby next to us who we want to get to. Hey, buddy, it's you gonna okay? be okay. You're okay. It's gonna be okay. All right, you're gonna it's take gonna... care of him after. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's just wash his hair. So over here, as you're doing that, we have Gavin and his cutie little baby Quinn, who's just eight weeks old. And we're talking about massage and how important massage is. It's fabulous. It actually helps babies grow and develop better. Helps their brain develop. Corky, why don't you show it us? Helps with digestion. Yeah. 
actually makes him sleep a little better. Okay. Now, this little baby's not really sure she wants this to happen. I want to warm it up and yeah. show it to her. I'm going to do some, some tummy strokes, so straight down at home you would do her without a diaper. Yeah. And just coming down, paddle heels. Sorry, yeah. Missy. Then at home you would stop if she was upset. And then you can do the sun and the moon, just right around and always down okay. your, uh, facing her clockwise. Because that's the descending oh, okay. pole. Mom's yeah. coming in. We have Mom Mary to the rescue. Come on, Mom. Oh, you want to hand him off to Mary? Here, she's got him. Oh, you know what? All, all the baby needs is Mom Mary. That's how it works. Quirky. Thank you. See how easy that was? Thank you so much.